Hi, my name is John Gardner and I teach percussion here at REW Music. Falling in love with the drums, actually the drums fell in love with me. So, um, drums was my first love. I started playing on buckets. So I moved from the buckets and I moved to an actual set. So there's a difference between gifted and being taught to play. So I kind of fell in the gifted part of it because I didn't have any lessons for a while. Making lessons fun is always a challenge. Um, you have to really first got to build some type of relationship with your students so you know what can make it fun and what's not going to make it fun. So I sit and play with my students, I challenge them. Sometimes I say, okay, let's see who's going to make the mistake this time. And sometimes I make mistakes purposely just to show that just because you're a teacher, you don't, you make mistakes also to make them feel comfortable. And then when you get to the point where you actually do make a mistake, they'll be like, oh, Mr. Gardner, that was you that time. And I'll just laugh and say, oh, you're right, it was me. So I try to make it in very interesting and not stressful. I want them to have fun. When it comes to musical styles, I use several different styles. I use the R&B style, the New Orleans style, the jazz style, and I use several different stick holdings. So I use the traditional grip and the match grip. In Johnson County, everybody plays match grip because of DCI, you know. And then over in the Missouri side, everybody play traditional grip because of HBCU. So I explain the different reasons why they approach it that way and also, if I have time for videos, I'll show the videos to the difference between DCI and also the difference between HBCU, the way that the marching styles and the music. A student have a big breakthrough in the lessons happens all the time. You can tell when a student have a breakthrough by what the challenges they have, and there's something about a glow on their face, like, okay, I got it. And you can tell that they really, they got it. And once you get it, you got it. So that's, that happens a lot especially when you're dealing with eighth notes. Eighth notes was a challenge for me even. So when they get the eighth notes down and they can break it down and play it with different patterns, it's a breakthrough and a success for them. And you can tell they're smiling, they're happy. They don't bring me donuts and coffee, but you know, still good. You should take lessons from me because I'm not your ordinary percussion teacher. I approach it differently, I do different styles. And I also want the students to have fun. I want them to be able to do gigs and stuff like that, stuff like that to make them happy and they smile. So that's the whole purpose of taking lessons from me. I'm just not, you know, I'm out the box. I'm not in that box, teacher. I don't go strictly by, this is what we're going to do. No, I'm outside the box. So I like for my students to have fun. That's why you should take lessons from the best, which is me.